Morning Sister Witches and Amazons. I'm Lori the Witchcrafter. And last night, our coven got together, and we decided to make prayer, prayer flags for our CPR packages or our CPR, CPR project. And if you'll remember, CPR stands for Cherish, Protect, and Respect. And what that means is that we're cherishing, protecting, and respecting those women who are out there working on all of those social justice uh, projects and ecological projects that we really care about and we want to show our appreciation and how much we support them with our magical energy. So we got together and uh, decided that we're going to make prayer flags as part of the gifts that go into our packages that we send to these women who are, who are, are out there on the, the lines defending women's uh, rights to um, reproductive rights. We're sending them to women working at uh, those immigration detention centers. Again, all of those, those projects that we really care about and we want to support those efforts. So these are our flags up close. And you can see how beautifully they're hanging in the morning sun. Nice work, women. They are just beautiful. And I'm sure the women who receive these will feel loved and appreciated and blessed as we send our energy and our magics to them. So let's go on in and get with Lynn Carroll and see how these were made. Yes, but okay. A few little tricks that go with it. So I'm going to try to get down here in the light. These are just any old fabric cut up that any, you happen to have. Well, I tried to make fabric that was not a, a polyester 100%. You know, this is so this is like polyester and cotton or a mix of some a sort. blend, yeah. Because you want something that will be not too slick to take the, the the paint. Right. And also, you know, these are all from my my very large collection of fabrics that I can't that are orphans at garage sales, and I can't pass up. Right. So I have a trailer filled with these things, and we just took them and cut them up. All right. So here is silver. And this is what silver. kind of paint? And this is water-based speed, speed bowl. Um, it's actually linoleum cutting ink, but you can use it on anything. Okay. Okay. So you take it. Put some on the cardboard. Put some on the cardboard. Get a roller. Get a roller. And where do you get these rollers? Oh, the same place art you get. Store. Art, art store. store. Okay. Michael's, you know, they're available. Okay. Okay, so you can use a large or small, depending on what you're thinking about. So if I want to do a butterfly, for example, because this has a star, and I'm thinking a silver butterfly might work on that. Oh, yeah. Okay. So you're rolling the ink onto the you stamp? You roll the ink onto the stamp. Different than, you know, a regular stamp where you might want to stamp the ink into it. No, right. No, no, no. No, no, no. Okay. This is the stamping process. Okay. We are going to do the painting process at a different station. And we're also going to do stenciling. Stamping is when you take an image like this and you lay it down. And then you take the magic spoon, here are spoons, and what we're going to do is use the consecrated spoon when we're finished. And we'll just sort of waft around, rather than using the spoon the way it's designed to be used in a stamping process, which is to make sure 
it gets down. So you make sure you have enough ink and that you make sure every bit of it gets pressed down. Ta-da. Ta-da. Now, oh, oh so look at that. See that? <coughs> that made a design up here. Well, I might not want that design, but it won't matter. And, I, and when I'm done with it, I'll just put it in here. We'll wash it later. Um, okay. When I'm, okay, so there's one way of taking your image. You can do something on six of them across the edge. Then, carefully, and I'm not sure exactly how we're going to work with this. Maybe we can get some paper towel and put it between them to pick them up. We go to the next station. Just a second. Okay, so you said you want to embellish it we in some way? We want to embellish it. This will not go through. If it's, that's, we didn't put any water in it. You didn't wash anything first and then do it. Then you can either use <coughs> a marker. And these are fabric markers. So if you open that, I will use, these work just as well. They all work. Um, here you go. What, thank you, dear. What do I, what should I say on this? Those three oh, words, Oh, you mean right? in words? Change. Yes. Change. Yeah, change. What was the three words? Well, we, a uh, change will happen. Yeah. We want, we want something that really gives somebody heart. Like hang in there, or change yeah. will change happen. Is or, change, change, change is coming. Change is coming, I like that. Now, this may go through, but we have white, we have a, plastic cover on the table. If you're feeling like it's going through too much and it's going to be wet under there, get a cardboard. Go get a cardboard and put it under you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Change. Okay. We can do it. That uh... <laughs> okay, so I'm going to write change will happen here because it's too small to get that on. So we could use the fabric markers to write on it, to draw symbols, to, to everything you want to picture, to outlining our stamp, outlining it. Oh, this thing doesn't want to come off. All right, so it doesn't want to come no. off. So if it actually comes off, change will happen. And then you could put the, the word will, like with your will, it will happen. Mm -hmm. So that's what I would do for this one. And I would just put those great big black letters, will. And then maybe I think purple is needed. And so I look in this thing and I go, Yes, it's not stuck. It's not stuck, which means it should come out. This is glitter glue. <laughs> I like the glitter sweat. part. Right. She threw a Valentine's party again this year. It was from getting flashbacks. Right. Oh, yeah, the girls <laughs> came oh, too, remember? Yes, so we, made oh, we made Valentine's. My little I ones. Out. <laughs> okay, so we got all kinds of glue things here for gluing things on if your sticky isn't, isn't working. This and there's all of those me. little things. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure. Because I don't know why that wasn't gluing, but so I might want to just dab some on there. Give you give it a little because this is gonna dry clear Girl, except there you go. W is at hand. Yay! She's got the eye over there too. Okay, where are the L's? Anybody got where any the L's? L's? Are the L's? Yeah, we got the L's in there. All right, so now we have. This is not only um, something that will glitter, you know, when it when it dries, and add a little. Ta da! Yes. Oh, oh, oh! Yay! Okay. Yay. Looks like a little dancing man. What do you need an eye? An eye. You're going to end up covering up your butterfly. Oh, not really. L? L. Who has the L? We need two L's. Two L's. We need two L's. There's no L's here. 
Give me, give me an eye. Give me an eye. I think I'm fine. Okay, so, okay, so now we know how that's going to work. Okay. And we have a couple other things that I would, I would caution you to use very sparingly. No matter how much you try, glitter will out and it will cover <laughs> the landscape. So therefore, don't put any glitter here. Take your glitter and go outside on the and grass. glitter out there. Outside, in the heat, go out and glitter. Go, go, go forth, forth and, and glitter. glitter. Okay. Now, I'm looking at this and I'm saying, oh my goodness, this doesn't really look strong enough. So I'm going to use white out. In the places that aren't no, no. white. Come here, Barry. Little Barry. Come here, Bella. Now, this will drive me crazy. I have to find L. Well, remember, L is just um, a line and another little one, so we can L make it if we need it. just another word for. Okay, so this is. But then you see, happen is, is not going to happen. It doesn't seem to be happening. What could we do with happen? Well, we just happen to have some acrylic paint, and that's at the very next station. They, they, these things do not have to be this elaborate. Okay. I'm just putting every possible kind of process on this so you get a feel for what, what they will do. The best thing to do would to have been written maybe, the change will happen on the blue so it didn't interfere with the white. And then maybe put the glitter on the white. Now we can still put some glitter or some sequins into this glue. Um, these things can become very, very busy. L's? L's anywhere? No, no. H's. No. H. Yeah, but H is just in the middle. If I cut them, it's two eyes. There's no. Well, the middle isn't. Yeah, but it's a tiny L. We'll fix it. Anyway, so just one or two of these guys might be what you already put for. glue there that's just yes oh, i'm yeah, sticking it where i put so the glue. if if i was with a group of women and we didn't have your vast stores of stuff art mm -hmm. supplies Everything. we could start with some cloth some cloth maybe some we paint. maybe we have some old pillowcases we could cut up yes and we could have some garden twine Yes. And we could get some fabric markers, and we got pair, pair flex. You and do. you can get a lot of these from uh, these are Michaels super cheap. and stuff, too. Okay. They and have these um, packages of all kinds I of I have this. fabric glue. Oh, fabric paint. Yeah. fabric paint. Okay. What was it? It was in, like, the bottom of the stack of the uh, uh, L number They're smaller, though, but that's okay. That's actually good. Yeah. But so what I'm doing here is I'm making... I'm making the, um, the image into a piece of artwork that also has a kind of a hidden message so when you find it, you think, ooh. And then you get, you get the cleverness of the will. Put your will into it. So, you know, um, start with something simple and then maybe add something to it as, as the moment, the cleverest of the moment hits. Okay, and so then after this, and, and we let it dry, and then we staple it to... Then you go back and staple it to the cord again. What it about goes these across paints? Here. What are they for? Oh, well, you see. Now, now we that have you all asked. these paints, now that you asked. We have paintbrushes. Do you realize how many deviled eggs this represents? This is, <laughs> <laughs> this is probably my lifetime number that I've ever made since I'm not a cook. All right. So you just put a little out. Don't fill it all up because it, you know, it dries very, very quickly. And we'll have a little bucket here for you that will be um, a little thing like this that will have some water in it so that you can wash your brush right away. And, and there's another uh, there's a thing full of rags and paper towels still out there. Somewhere. There you go. Oh, sorry. Okay. So, okay. And don't be afraid to use the kitchen sink. Oh, don't use a kitchen sink. Don't. No. no. Don't be this afraid. acrylic.
Be afraid. Be very be, afraid. Be, be, Put be, it be, right be. in here. Okay. And we're going to we're going to do it outside. Okay. With your hose. Okay. Because acrylic on your kitchen sink will stick. Oh. And then you'll have a really a big problem. Think of when you paint your house how you don't want that house paint mm -hmm. to get. Acrylic paint is the same as house paint. So if you don't have fancy acrylic paints because you're not an artist, go to Home Depot and get four samples of different colors, and that's all you need. Okay. And it's acrylic paint. And then. I recommend that you use your brush as a tool rather than as a pencil. So use your brush to make um, stampings, sort of, because it'll go with the rest of your stamping. Now, if you feel like you're really good at this, you might want to try to make lettering. I do all my lettering with a brush because it's much easier to see and it's easier for me to coordinate. But I would not use this brush. I would use a smaller brush for the lettering because the lettering <coughs> has to have some interesting edges that I can't get with this brush. This brush is better for larger areas. Because she makes now, it look simple now. Now let me tell you something about colors. You all may be already aware of colors. The primary colors are red, yellow, and blue. You all know that? Mm -hmm. All right, good. Red and yellow make orange. orange. Blue and yellow make green. green. Red and blue, purple. 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 purple, okay. The colors that those primary colors make are called secondary colors. Put a primary color against a secondary color that doesn't have that primary in it, and it will pop. It's called complementary color. And so blue is a primary color. What two colors do not are not in blue? Of the three primaries. Yellow. And? Red. red. What do red. yellow and red make? Orange. orange. Orange pops against blue. That's why I chose orange. So we are trying to make these stand out. It would be my advice to make it pop as much as possible. Now, stickers are also, this is sticky. So you can make a design on one of these and just cut it out and it will stick on it. So, so what which kind one was of, the glue you used? I missed that part because I was looking for it was your the, W. Um, it was just the, I just used one of these. These are all oh, okay. glitter gotcha, glues gotcha. and stuff. Okay, so it, stencils are when you go through something. Now I happen to have these very cute little things that I couldn't resist at the dollar store. And that will be fun just to put on one or oh, two. Oh, that's a nice feather. Aren't those pretty? Can you take the plastic off of that while I'm doing this? And put the this, on yeah, the yeah, yeah. feather. This doesn't have anything on it to make it sticky. Hence, the it tacky glue. The tacky glue. The tacky glue and okay. the tacky glue applicator. A chopstick. <laughs> I love working with chopsticks. But if you want to make a star, for example, let's just start. Let's start easy. You can. Obviously. Or open it. And then right there, the door. This is where we're going to put it. Make a store. Okay, and you wow, have. Oh, it's got a hole in it. A very pretty, bright. It's supposed to have a hole in it. That's well, it's what a am stencil. I supposed to Leave it there. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. Oh, well, so I use that. To you just grow. cut this out you with trace. the regular old oh, scissors. Trace. You can trace the hole. Or. And this will this will stick on, and it will be pretty on something that has a dark blue, has a what background? Orange. Orange, Orange background. Yes. All right. wow. I didn't do that to the blue, really, but now I'm working. Well, what working about on a blue white art. background? So yellow, purple. What about a white background? Red, uh, red green, white. Anything goes. Knock yourself out on white. Okay, so that's to make. 
stickers like these stickers so you would just peel the back off of that and peel slap it, it right and on snap there it on. Okay. okay that's there that is a peel bag. these are all foamy things that have things on the oh, back and okay. all this stuff comes from the dollar store all right. but you can get it you know cheaper at michael's does this look like a witch's nose now uh now but some things like this beautiful thing is too elaborate to do that so with that, we go back to the other room. Now, you need to use the stencil brush on things that are dryish, or the stencil will get icky on the back. In which case you wanna, oh, thank you very much. That's just, okay. So stencil brushes look like they have flat tops. You can use acrylic on stencil, but you can use that ink as well out there. It works beautifully because it's a print, you know, that's all. Or you could do, use the fabric marker and just draw in it. Yeah, or you could just draw elaborate. in it. But with stencil, the important thing with stencil is that it not be gloppy because it'll go underneath. You just want to do that to it. We could do it more than one color. Ooh, keep it in the same place. Let's, let's vary it a little bit. You know, step it up here. Obviously, you can just stencil straight, but why would we do that if we don't have to? Be careful not to make it wet. When you're finished with your little stencil brush, and after you have washed it, you take your stencil brush, and you take your stencil. For our sisters up north. Absolutely. Okay. So here's the morning after, and we have finished a bunch of prayer flags. Okay, so now I'm going to, um, obviously this is the next morning, and so I'm going to show you very quickly how to, uh, and very simply how to put the uh, prayer flags on the string themselves. So all we need is, you know, maybe this is a ball of uh, yarn twine, but you can use just regular yarn, string, kite string, whatever you happen to have. You need a stapler and, of course, scissors to cut the string. So... I'm going to run this, this twine, I'm going to put five flags on, because uh, that's what fits on this table. You can make more, you can make less. Um, I'm going to probably, I think, double this. We'll start with double it. We can always cut some off the end if we have too much. Because I want to space them out a bit. So here we go, just cut the string. And we're done with this. And I wanna start at the end down here. Whoops, some of them are still a little, little wet. And I wanna leave a good portion of it to tie off to something. So I'm thinking, you know, about there. And then, set some of these and get closer to you. We'll start with this one down here. And all we do is make a little fold over. 
and staple. Let me come up and show you a little closer what I'm doing. Okay, so there's the back of the flag. I'm just folding it over. I'm putting a staple in this end to hold it where we want it. It doesn't have to be perfect. Put one in the middle. There we go. Now you could put several more in if you wanted. I think three is, is just fine for our purposes. Okay, so there we go. That's our first flag. Now I want to leave, say, one flag space between. So I'm going to go like right there and move this one down. Actually, it's this one, right? Okay, it's next. I'm going to fold that in right there. Staple, 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 and that one's on. Leave one space. Fold it over. Staple, staple, and staple. And that's three. Now, if you were a seamstress and you wanted to get really fancy, you could certainly hem all these edges. You could sew in uh, the cord, but we really want to make a lot of these, and we want to make them quickly. We want to get them out to women who are out protesting and supporting all kinds of causes that we care about. So... We're trying to do them very quickly. Okay. Again, we leave enough. Start there. And our message is um, with these prayer flags all positive change will happen. You are loved, peace, you're supported, uh, you're powerful. Change is coming. You are light. We will rise. All of those positive messages. And there we have it. So we have a string, and I guess my measurement was pretty much right on because uh, that leaves me enough there at the end to tie off to something enough at this end as well. So here we go. Let me tip the camera up a little bit. So here we are. And there you have it. So, get on those prayer flags. Get them in those care packages. Get them out to the women who are really on those, on those causes that we care about. We want to send them messages of love and support. And that's it for now. We'll see you next time on the Amazon Witchcrafter.